joys of camping I don't get to do it I mean I don't get to be home very often a lot of times I'm in the RV but then work calls and says hey we need you to do something not gig work I mean uber and DoorDash and Lyft aren't calling me but my trucking company does sometimes they get loads that need to to go and they rely on me to do it so that's what I'm doing tonight prepping so I don't have to stop like you just seen I can continue driving don't have to pull over anywhere and do anything and uh and then hopefully midweek get to come back home again and live out my dream of traveling in an rv and what a dream it is yeah i i said something in my last video about this this place here and it, it, this is a beautiful campground it's probably my second favorite one other than wildwood florida a lot of people love Claremont slash Orlando, but I think that's just too cram packed and too large. It's just way too large. This place needs to be a little bit larger because you can see it is bumper to bumper. I'm not kidding. It's RV after RV after RV, no space. Actually, the last time we stayed here, we couldn't even really park our cars in front of the RV. There was no room. There is no room. If you could see how tiny this little road is, there was pickup trucks blocking traffic coming in, and they were just leaving their cars out there sleeping. But, like, you might, if you're lucky, like this person, you have room to park your car right beside. But then they got trees and poles. It, it's just so tight. It's not like you're really camping. It's I, I don't know what it's like. It's just a place to sleep until you move on to the next place, next destination. During the summertime, this place is amazing. During the wintertime, it's just, it's nuts. I know it's too dark to see, but it's car, RV, car, RV, car, RV. Now we have two cars. Steph's stuck in a truck is still out working tonight. And once she gets here, there's a little bit of room here for her to park. The butt of her RV starts at Cousin Eddie and ends right about here next to my car. But that's about it. There's, there is no room for anything. Is there kitty? Is there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I'm recording video. It's extreme low light right now. But yeah, right at the moment, that is what we're dealing with. Right, right dogs, right cats. That's, that's what we're dealing with. But because, I mean, there's just way too many people to go do anything. Using the swimming pool, using the hot tub, doing anything. I've been doing some creativity stuff. I've doing stuff I've never done before. Break out my cameras, my gear, little things I could use, like these guys. And I've been giving, giving my, uh, I don't know what I've been, what, what it is. I've been using my noggin a little bit and trying to do for the first time, stop motion photography. And uh, it's, it's, in fact, there was one at the beginning of this video. That was my second one I've ever done. I did one before, now I'm doing this. Since Steamboat Willie is now in public domain, I figured, well, I got Steamboat Willie Legos. I can make movies and videos with those things now and not get in trouble by Disney. So I've been moving one a little bit, taking a picture, moving it again, taking a picture, moving it again, taking a picture. And uh, it takes a long time. You gotta take a lot of photos. Then you take all those photos, you put them together and it makes a movie, a stop motion movie. And so I, I've always wanted to learn how to do it, never done it before. And uh, 
it seems to work. I think I could do it. So on my off time when I'm just home like this, in between jobs, I've been goofing around with that. I got two shorts, one five second, and now this one here at the beginning of this video was 20 seconds. I did a whole 20 seconds and it took about an hour. It took about an hour to make a 20 second video, but it was pretty cool. So I'm gonna practice it and I'm thinking before Superman happens this year at Superman Celebration in Metropolis, Illinois in June, which everybody should attend, I wanna do a Superman Lois Lane one. I would like to like get a articulating little toy where the arms move and legs move of Superman and also one of Clark Kent and one of Lois Lane and I wanna do an adventure stop motion with them and then give it to Morgan at the Superman Museum and maybe they can do something with it. I don't know. Put it on the TV. I don't, I don't know. I'd like to make something like that for them. They've been so good to me over the years. So we'll see how that goes. But I, I got a, long, a lot more practicing to do before I create a full-on feature-length two-minute movie. What are you doing outside my front window? What are you doing? You're going to jump on my hood? Are you going to jump... That's what I need to make a stop motion of as a squirrel. He's, he's just chilling. Oh my hand, my phone's vibrating. Would you look at that? This this video automatically turns into a wild kingdom wildlife episode. He's eating. Let's see if we can zoom in even more. I think he's just doing that for the camera. He knows he's on camera. He knows he's on camera. Well, it has been a crazy day. So I left home, came down here, started doing the pickups, doing my gig. That, that's not my truck, obviously. That's my truck. But I think uh, life so far, it's not too bad doing this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying just coming out here a couple days a week, staying at home a couple days a week. It's, I think in the future, it's gonna give me time to be more creative. Because I do got plans. And I'll let you guys know them on my next video where I'm showing you guys how I'm learning stop motion video just in case you guys want to try it. It's really easy to start, but really hard to... Uh, you, you, you try and rush through it too fast and move things too fast. But watch my next video. I'm, I'm going to do a walkthrough of how I'm learning. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead back into that door down there get loaded and start heading home until the next time thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys from down the road there's a road over there trust me